Hi guys, welcome to Meta Bar Christmas Table. I'll be giving you a like barn tour today. First thing, I'll give you an overview. Right here is our sign. Um, right now, get over the other sign. Save the date I made a sign. Or three. We've got the lesson arena, or like the lesson arena area. A pair of scissors that I don't need in here. I'm just put them up on my bed. That's real safe. Tax storage, our livestock and farm animals is right around this area. We got our goats, our chicken coop, our dogs, and then we got our feed area as well. This is our second little arena space. Um, and we got jump storage goes right here, but all of it's out because it's a busy Saturday afternoon. And we've got one of our barns. Um, these are outdoor pens to these two stalls. And we've got our pigs and a, another stall. And I cleared out these two shelves to make extra space. So we've got the bottom shelf and the one above it. And yeah, let's get started. Alright. Here's our sign. It says, Welcome to Meadowbrook Farm and Stables. We offer boarding, breeding, lessons, birthday parties, trails, English pleasure, western pleasure, pleasure rehabilitation and much more ever much more would be like trail rides and like shows and all that stuff in the barn rules are no running no yelling no smoking clean up after your horse be safe wear a helmet when riding and have fun moving to our main arena we have grace on the trotting poles with her with the newest horse at the barn, Paris. She is trying her out for lease. Um, so there were me poles. And then right here we have, um, she's a Hanoverian mare. And then this is Jordan on Luna, the Tennessee Walker mare. Um, then we've got Jenna on Snowman, the Hanoverian gelding. Over here, we have Crystal, our lip is on her mare, being ridden by Tiffany, and then the trainer, Miss Waylon, and also we have Georgia on Rush, then trying him out for lease. So that is the arena, or the main arena. Right here is where our tax storage is. Don't mind this, I was drinking that. Um, but these are like all, it's supposed to be sitting up, but I can't get it to, so let's just pretend like this is up on the wall. Right here is lead ropes, and this is supposed to be like a little hitching post right by the tack stuff. Um, you've got what used to be a neck rope out of Rainbow Loom, and what used to be Martingale out of Rainbow Loom. Then these two are homemade tack sets. An extra western saddle and where our saddle pads go and she's using the blue one she's using the other rainbow one and then right here is also a saddle stand for when you have your horse tied up and this little extra piece of fencing when you're tacking up you can use this little stand to put your tack on then we've got our hay bales I did not put them in horse stalls yet um, we've got our chicken feed. I know it's oats, but we could just use it as chicken feed. Um, then these two dogs are puppy in my pockets, but that's okay. Because they could make good chocolate pets. This is woo, the chocolate lab um, puppy in my pocket. I named her Macy after my dog. Then we've got our dog and cat crate, whatever wants to go in it. Mm. Um, and then we've got a terrier, I believe. Um, I, mean, I named him Jersey. Then we've got one of our two golden retrievers, Tay uh, Harley. That is after my uncle and aunt's dog. And right here we have our chickens. We have to put them up because the new baby chicks have been born. And we don't need dogs getting a hold of them. This is Lenny, Buck Buck, 
Chicoletta, Miss Chicken, Henny, and Mrs. Cluck. And I did not name the baby chicks because I didn't have way too many. And right here is where our Tennessee Walkers go. This is Sweetie Pie, or Sweetie or Sweetie Pie, um, the Tennessee Walker yearling uh, filly. And her mother is Luna. Sorry, I'm itching. I got a scratch. Mm. Real quick, right over here is our jump storage. Our poles, poles go along here, and as long as our jump stands go along here, the barn doors always stay open. And I took the little post things that were right here on the sides, um, these things off. And I was working on making some signs to go up here and along the sides, and I just decided to do this because it's, like, r really late. Um, so then we've got two homemade jump stands, and we've got our second little area, arena, arena area that we use sometimes, and we've got Mackenzie walking Dante over the poles, because she loves this horse, and she would literally do anything she can with him. Um, moving into this barn, this is our main barn, these doors do close and lock, but they always stay open. We've also got guard dogs around. There's Harley, and then those two dogs are also guard dogs. Um, so, here's what the walkway looks like. Moving to this stall, we have our Tinkers. He's perch. He's a percher on, by the way. And so this is our Tinker Mare Harmony. And her cult warrior. And it's thundering outside. Um, and we have Brianna with one of my customs. I only put one of my customs in here, and it's her. I named her Minnie. She used to be in the Hanoverian mold. Um, oops, I just killed them. She used to be in this mold. Or she's that mold, but I painted her. And let me fix them real quick. Alright, they're fixed now. Um, yeah, that's what Minnie looks like. And she's in her nice and blue saddle pad. Then we got Smokey the uh, kitten and Lammy the baby lamb. And then these two stalls are for mares that have twins. So this, um, I know this use, this use, this is the Tennessee Walker foal, but I made it a Mustang. And I've had that one for a while now. Um, and also, I traded it with my sister. And so my sister doesn't really take good care of her horses. So I still love him to bits. And I'm literally killing Mackenzie. Um, but yeah, that, um, that's where our Mustangs stay. And then the other Mustang, Philly, in there. He's a colt, and this is a Philly. And this is the original Mustang Philly. Her name is Ginger. Once again, I traded this with my sister, so. For some doubles I had and some horses. Um, and yeah, their mother is Echo. You'll see her in literally like two seconds. Not literally, but. And these are our Camerogs in the back stall. Um, and each of these two stalls leads up into a paddock because it's got twins in it, so. Um, this is Frost, and this is now a Cameron, you know, it's a Arabian filly, but it's a Cameron filly now. That one's name is Mocha. I might change it, though. And then this is Fifi. Um, and then moving on to this little area. Sorry, I have it. Um, there you blow my nose real quick um so this is emma the western rider i think from 2015 and she's on the um mustang mare echo and emma is talking to mckenna one of the stable hands here and mckenna is just walking around one of our new riders Lindsay. she's not new to me but she's new to the barn um, she's learning how to ride, and so she's on Aria. That's Aria's stall, by the way. 
and yeah, they're talking. We've got a water trough right here. Um, for like our animals and stuff. So I just put this right here. It doesn't have real water in it. Because it's got a crack on the side of it. And it leaks. And then we have our goats, Milky Way and Milkshake. Um, that one has a little bit of a white spot right there on the top of its head. And then they were nibbling on some apples over there. Then this is what the apples were in, but they obviously spilled it. Um, and then, sorry I'm rushing though. This used to be our wash doll, but our uh, Miss Piggy, that one, used uh, just had her little piglets. So they were staying in here until they um, get older. So that's Miss Piggy, Corky, Corkscrew, and Nibbles, I think. He's the one that bites. And then that is Mittens, and whoa, that is Honey. And that's Aria's doll, by the way. So this gets really dark in here, so I'm in, uh, I'm going to mm. pull out the horses to show you. There's three stalls along there, and three songs along, stalls along there. Same with there, there's three stalls there and three stalls there. This first stall is Dante's stall. He's the one right there in between my legs. And then the next one is our Napstrapper Stallion. His name is Dom, no, not Domino. Um, his name is Jupiter. And then in the last stall beside him is Snowman's stall. And then this is Rushton's stall. And then this is Salem's stall. Or this is Salem. He is the Hanoverian gelding. Um, I believe. And then in the very last stall is Eddie. Named after Horse at My Barn. Um, if you want to see who uh, Eddie really is, then go look in my channel videos and you'll see me cantering Eddie and I'm going to repaint his legs uh, black to make him look exactly like him so yeah he is chilling in the back stall and I killed them once again I'm just gonna have her like this and moving up this is Alec her Belgian Malamar um, I named this one after my best friend's dog. This is Dixie, our Pinto, our Paint Marin Foal, our Paint Marin, and then this is Hope. It's really an Alka Tiki, but I made it the Pinto. And then the next ones is Maple, the Hanoverian Mare. Socks, the Colt, and that's a filly. And then in the last one is our Halflingers. This is Kara, the Halflinger mare, with the Halflinger filly. This is really an illusion, but I call her Halflinger. This is Blossom. And then this dog is Taylor, named after my dog that unfortunately passed away when I was little. Then this is, whoa, this is Paris's halter. I mean, she was trailered in, which is that mare. And her stall is in the very back. And this is, uh, this is Luca, her foal, the Hanoverian colt. This is the now shepherd filly. Um, Allie, and her mom is Willow, the mare. And then, uh, last but not least, we have Crystal's stall, which I had to quickly make. And she does not have a full. Um, so I think that concludes my barn tour. And I'll give you a quick overview once I fix them once again. Here's the overview. Got the sign, the man arena, tax storage, tax spot, feed, 
chickens and stuff. Then the barn levels. Hope you liked it. Bye.